Why do you think it is important to celebrate sustainability in the environment? Well, you know, when, when we look at the environmental crisis, it seems very distant and abstract, but I think it's very important for people to understand that the environmental crisis is, is the, the agglomeration of a million individual decisions, a billion individual decisions, and that how we conduct our lives in our everyday activities, uh, whether it's, it's what we choose to eat, how we choose to locomote, how we, um, uh, you know, heat our houses, that the environmental crisis is a sum of all those decisions. And unless you understand how you are implicated in these larger issues, um, we're not going to solve it. Government will not solve it. Laws will not solve it. It will only be solved when we change the way we live. And sustainability is a big fancy, you know, Latinate word for, for understanding exactly how um, our everyday decisions connect to these larger questions. What have you learned about the process of science in your research and exploration that has surprised you? Science surprises me every day. Um, I, I try to follow it very, very closely. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of one particular... Um, I mean, any time I, I scratch a subject, um, you know, I've been working on, on, the, on orchids and their, their, you know, orchid sex and their strange pollination strategies. And, and the more I learn, the more I am astounded at what these plants can do and how they can manipulate their pollinators and how diabolical they can be. Um, so, you know, that's just the latest example of a scientific question that I've been exploring. But um, all you have to do is scratch the surface of any scientific subject and you will be uh, astounded. <laughs> what are three things that people can do to act more sustainably every day? I think that the single most important thing people can do if they want to um, uh, help with uh, climate change and, and the environmental crisis in general is to change the way they eat. I don't think people realize that our eating choices, what's happening on your plate, has a more powerful uh, impact on the natural world than anything else you do. It is through agriculture we've changed the landscape of, of the planet. It is uh, our eating that contributes up to a third of greenhouse gases. Um, the composition of species, the fact that there are 110 million cattle in this country and only 50,000 or 10,000 wolves, that is a result of the eating choices we have made. So start with that. Um, one meatless day a week. Um, if we all did that, that's the equivalent of taking 20 million cars off the road. Eat more plants. Um, eat less uh, in general. There's three things right there. Um, I think simply becoming a more conscious eater and considering how your food choices are, are shaping the world uh, will lead people in the direction of, of making changes that, by the way, don't involve sacrifice. Um, you know, the best choices for your, for your diet, for your health, are, happen to be the best choices for the environment, and they happen to be the tastiest choices as well. So um, one of the beauties of, of, of changing food choices as a way to vote for a, a more sustainable future is that um, it's not a zero-sum process. It's a, it's a, it's a win-win proposition. Thank you, Michael, for celebrating your science with us. My pleasure.